Dear President of uh, uh, the European Academy of Sciences, dear Eurask uh, um, fellows, dear colleagues, it, it is really my great pleasure and uh, privilege to introduce Professor uh, Quan Wang uh, as the winner uh, of the, uh, of the um, Pascal Medal uh, 2019 for engineering. After his brilliant studies uh, uh, in, uh, in China, he uh, has taught uh, worldwide in the different uh, universities. In, uh, uh, in Singapore, Hong Kong, uh, United States, uh, and Canada. Uh, he is uh, presently uh, a professor and uh, the president uh, of Shantou University in uh, Guangdong uh, province, uh, China. Is um, also uh, is also a, a fellow, active fellow of different academies in the Europe and uh, Europe and uh, America. Professor Wang presents an impressive uh, curriculum vitae, from, uh, uh, from uh, which it, is, uh, it clearly appears that he is an uh, influential, uh, influential uh, uh, scientist, uh, especially in uh, uh, engineering mechanics and uh, nanotechnologies. In particular, in particular um, he is an expert uh, in uh, the, the topic that is going to present today, uh, energy harvesting from, uh, uh, from uh, uh, window and ocean waves, but also smart materials, structural uh, health monitoring, and uh, scale effects in uh, material properties. Uh, in this, uh, in this uh, um, strategical and uh, cutting-edge uh, topics, he uh, published more than 230 uh, papers in, uh, in, um, in international refereed uh, journals. Um, several of these papers have hundreds uh, 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 hundreds of citations, uh, and uh, totally he presents uh, more than uh, 10,000 uh, 10, uh, uh, citations. Pro Professor Wang conducted a very intense, appreciated also, uh, also uh, a very intense and appreciated uh, um, activity, editorial activity. And uh, presently, he is uh, the editor-in-chief of two, two very important uh, journals uh, of his uh, field. So, please, uh, Professor Wang, go on with your presentation. Thank you. Thank you, you Arpato, for your kind introduction. Uh, first, I'd like to appreciate European Academy of Sciences for giving me the medal. And uh, thank, I appreciate Arpato for recommending me. It's my great honor. I'm pleased to uh, present the research on energy harvesting from ocean waves by smart materials. Today, we all talk about energy. I'm talking about a specific topic uh, from ocean waves by smart materials. So Shandu University is a comprehensive university co-developed by Ministry of Education, Guangdong province, uh, provincial government, and the Likashin Foundation. The contents of my report is, first session is about brief review on energy harvesting from ocean waves. From here, we can find that m most devices are still at R&D uh, stage because of the uh, energy conversion mechanism, mechanism. So after introduction of a conversion mechanism, I'm coming to energy harvesting from ocean waves by piezoelectric mechanism. Finally, I will report extension of technology to other areas. Brief review 
on energy harvesting from ocean waves. Uh, Non-renewable energy, uh, coal, crude oil, natural gas, induces uh, extensive environmental pollution. For example, industrial waste gas, land uh, pollution, vehicle exhaust, water pollution. For, exa for example, air pollution is mainly due to coal. The number of deaths in caused by lung cancer is the largest in China. The second, major half of the seven major, uh, more than half of the seven major water systems in China are polluted. And third, more than 10 million tons of loss of food are due to land pollution. So these are the current situation. In addition, we still have serious shortage of non-renewable energy. For example, about two trillion barrels of known detected oil reserves are identified in the world, which can be consumed for about 80 years. About 700 billion tons of coal can be mined globally and can be maintained for 200 years. And natural gas in the world about 119 cubic meter, which can be used for 70 years. These are, two, these are the two major problems. So, renewable green energy is expected, as a uh, previous uh, scholar talked about, uh, Federico. The solar, uh, non-renewable green energy includes solar energy, wind energy, bio energy, and ocean energy. Ocean energy, marine energy, and uh, marine energy, and smart energy are major two parts in national strategy of China currently. It's, it is estimated that world's ocean energy in deep water is greater than one terawatt, and global annual annual average wave power estimation during ten years is in the order of kilowatt per meter. So we have a large resource of ocean energy. So this is the current situation. We have about 80 technologies for wave energy conversion devices, which can be classified into three categories. And the first, terminator. The extension of the devices is perpendicular to the wave, transporta uh, uh, wave direction, wave uh, transportation uh, uh, direction. Point absorber, buoy system, we can see a lot of point absorber. And attenuator, direction of uh, devices is the same with the uh, wave direction. Three uh, categories. Now I give one example, Palamus. Palamus device built by uh, Palamus wave in Scotland. This is a Palamus. The weight is about 1350 tons, including 700 tons of blast. And the length is 180 meter with a diameter of four meter. Energy generated is estimated to be 750 kilowatt. So we can calculate the total cost is around greater than two, uh, two US dollar per watt. It's very expensive. So that's why many current wave energy devices are at the R&D stage due to their low generation efficiency and high capital costs. So these are the major problem. So these two problems are mainly due to energy conversion mechanism. So in the next session, I will briefly in, uh, list three conversion mechanism. Three conversion mechanism. First, electrostatics. Second, electromagnetics and the piezoelectricity. These are the main three uh, mechanisms. Electrostatic converters convert mechanical energy to electricity where uh, Electro, uh, electrostatic effect caused by the relative displacement of electrode occurring within the system. That's uh, electrostatic statics. And it's found that power density by this type of mechanism is around 0 0.6 mu watt per cubic millimeter. So this is a uh, one uh, factor, power density. The second, Electromagnetic converters induce an electrical current in any closed circuit when the magnetic flux through, through the circuit changes. So this mechanism is mainly used in current ocean energy harvesting. So we can see that uh, tidal or ocean waves induce rotation of blades 
and rotational blaze is transferred to electricity via electromagnetic uh, effects. Power density by this type of mechanism is about 4.37 mu watt per cubic millimeter, which is greater than previous one. And third one, piezoelectric, piezoelectric harvesters generate an electrical current of voltage, voltage of charge from the mechanical strings or force. So this is a direct piezoelectric effect, the piezoelectric material. So this guy has been widely used. Uh, some reported devices have been, have been published. So this is a subway. Uh, underground, they bur bury some uh, uh, devices made of uh, piezoelectric material. So by steps of persons, they use, they use steps of person or weight of person to induce electricity. So uh, 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 railway track, they also bury a large framework. So it's reported that a direct piezoelectric effect usually requires motion with frequency more than 10 hertz to reduce electric leakage. So high frequency is preferred. So power density by this type of uh, mechanism is 37 mu watt per cubic millimeter. So we can conclude in terms of power density, piezoelectricity is the highest among, uh, among the three. So we still have other advantages. In addition, voltage capacity of piezoelectric generator are the largest among the three converters, which is useful for minimizing resistive loss in transmission of electrical power over great distances. So this is good. And finally, piezoelectric piezoelectric generators offered simplest configuration and the lowest cost. So these are the three uh, advantages. So in summary, piezoelectric material offer highest voltage generation capability, highest energy generation density, simplest configuration and the highest benefits. So now, high efficiency, compactness, and a low cost are expected from the piezoelectric effects. So now we will report the application of this mechanism in ocean uh, energy harvesting. Some challenges. Current challenge. More efficient, cost-effective, and compact uh, smart designs from piezoelectric technologies are expected. Current problem, the reported power output by piezoelectric harvesters is in the order of watt, so we, which is very small. And the application, we hope to apply the mechanism to large-scale energy harvesting devices from ocean waves, high-rise buildings, vehicle suspension system, etc. So next session is about energy harvesting from ocean waves by smart materials after analyzing the three conversion mechanisms. So we hope, we hope by, uh, from the tidal and wave uh, of ocean waves, uh, blade rotation will be a uh, rotation, a motion of blade rotation will be transferred to electricity via piezoelect piezoelectric effects. So I will report three examples as follows. First, octo generator for energy harvesting. It is used for tidal energy and wind energy. So when tidal energy, wind energy, wind energy, uh, when tidal wave and wind wave come from this way, uh, rotational blaze, rotational blaze is induced in this housing. We design something first. By, we design by many, many arms, and we design some pairs of magnetic bars. So from the rotation, periodic magnetic force is applied to the vibration system. So the vibration motion on piezoelectric material is expected to be transferred to electricity. So technical technology, so from here we can find out by increasing number of arms, the frequency of magnetic force is increased. So which is useful for reducing electrical leakage. So techno technical challenges include vibration system design, reducing electrical leakage, high efficiency, cost effectiveness, and compactness. Some key results. 
a scientific modeling. So in the design, we have to go for scientific modeling as follows. Modeling of magnetic force and vibration systems. Modeling of energy collection in piezoelectric materials. And how to achieve maximum power output. So these scientific modelings is divided by some tasks. Applying Newton's second law and uh, modeling magnetic force how to find electrical charge voltage, and how to find the final uh, electrical power by the piezoelectric device. So these are the uh, details which I will meet. Key conclusion. Some key conclusion, key results. A higher electrical power up to 5 kW can be achieved by that design, by that device. A cost power ratio two times lower than that of the BWC which is a current wind turbine is achieved. So this picture was taken in a National uh, Ocean Laboratory of China. So this is a power provider for devices four to six kilometer under ocean surface of ocean. So these devices are for communication, lighting, barrier avoidance, some uh, 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 devices. So power required for these devices is in the order of kilowatt. So this, de so our design has a potential to become the next generation of power provider under sea and the ocean. So which is useful for discovery of ocean. Second example, marine current turbine. So it's also used for tidal energy and wind energy. So tidal or wave come from this way. So leading to rotational blades. So this uh, device part. So before I go for key results, I have to point out, point out some key problems in current wind turbine. So in our current wind turbine, the blades can only rotate only when the torque exceeds the combined resistive torque. In other words, this turbine only works when wind is sufficiently high. The main reason is that we have very, very complex mechanical configuration. So during the function, the complex mechanical configuration leads to energy distribution. So it's uh, inefficient. So they only work when the wind is sufficiently high. The second is very costly. Installation of costs are about 15 million renminbi for 1,000 kW bin. So it's very costly. And, uh, uh, the time is low after one year or two years. They may expire. They may expire. Some problems may happen. So they have to repair and uh, leading to uh, another high cost. So this is the current situation of wind turbine. So our current key results of the marine current turbine are listed below. A comparison of the power out output by the current design. With an, uh, with an available MCD measured by this uh, reference is given. It's given by here. So the key results are shown here. Piezoelectric harvester could work on a very low resistive core torque. So they can work very efficiently. Uh, leading to a low cutting speed and high efficiency. And the power generated by this guy is over six, is about 600 watt, which is sufficiently high. So this cost effective and high uh, efficient. So this is second example. Third example is about a story about the uh, qi qi. The qi qi is a Chinese pronunciation. Qi first the qi means tilting, tilting. Okay. Second qi means container. So tilting container. So story is from the Xunzhi Yu Zuo. One day Confucius visited a temple, and the monk showed him a, a bucket. So qi qi, tilting bucket. So Confucius uh, was, it is, was very smart. So he concluded that this guy, bucket, tilts when it is empty. So it is stand firm when it's halfly filled with water. Halfly filled with water, so it stands firm. And it falls when it's completely filled with water. So this is a uh, Confucius concluded a lot of uh, philosophies. So one, this physical philosophy pictorially illustrates one old saying, 
one loses by arrogance and gains by modesty. This is a, a tradition philosophy of China. So these qi qi, tilting containers, had been used for a long time. In remote Asian time, they were used for collecting water or farming. Okay? In ocean time, they were used for spiritual level. One loses by arrogance and gains by arrogance, uh, by, by modesty. So this guy was in Forbidden City. And in current time, they can be used for energy harvesting. So I will give the example of energy harvesting by this tilting container or qi qi. So this is an experimental setup. So this is a container attached at the end of a candelaver. A piezoelectric patch is, uh, is pasted at the end of the candelaver. So when the working principle is as follows. It tilts when it's empty. So when water is halfway filled, it stands firm. So leading to bending of the candelaver. When water is completely filled in the, candelaver, uh, in the container, it falls, leading to rebounds of the candelaver. So rebounds of candelaver is a vibration. So vibration is good news for the guy. So it is used for, to transfer vibration motion to electricity. So this is the working principle. So one demonstration I show here. One demonstration. So this one was used for for power thermometer. The container is filled with water and the force leading to vibration. And this vibration is collected by piezoelectric patch. So by using by a designing electric circuit, we store everything into a com capacitor. So this is first run, and then we can see the power. We use it to power thermometer to measure temperature and humidity. The second second round of energy harvesting from the design. So we have plenty of ruins in the world, so we can use it okay for collecting water all the time. So this is a experimental setup. So you, this is an electrical circuit designed for the for the qi qi. Now finally, uh, no, these uh, uh, devices can be used for, uh, for uh, uh, ocean, ocean uh, many devices under, uh, under ocean uh, for barrier wardens, uh, under sea lighting, protection device, communication, uh, foundation of shore, oil and gas exploration, etc. It can also be used for in transportation. Okay, so this is for applica application for ocean waves. Finally, I will report extension of the technology to other areas. The first one, high-rise building. High-rise building, one key job in high-rise building is to reduce the vibration of top floors in high-rise buildings. So now we have two uh, motives. First, reduction of vibration of high-rise building, top floor, while collecting this vibration from the uh, uh, while collecting uh, uh, vibration energy from the top floor to for energy harvesting, so this is the two jobs. Okay, reduce energy and leave, uh, use applied energy to go for energy harvesting. So this is a study. This statistics was made several years ago. So this based on the uh, height height of uh, building more than 200 meters. So in China, we have the highest number of uh, buildings, of high-rise buildings. So these are, in another word, these are also a lot of vibration energy. So this is one design concept, okay? We design this device on the top of the floor. So this proof mass is used to tune the energy, to tune the frequency of the uh, wind and the uh, building. So finally, the key result is that energy harvesting efficiency can even reach 20%, percent, 28%, which is very high. So, okay. Second one, wind energy. Traditional and mature wind uh, uh, generator have been applied widely, but now, just now I talk about 
these generators are costly and inefficient. So installation of uh, 1,000 kilowatt turbine, the cost is uh, more than 15 million RMB, very costly. Okay. So in China, in northern and western part, we have a large distribution resource, a resource of distribution of wind energy. So this can be used. And this is also another device, concept, concept device. Uh, this is the wind direction. This is the plate. At the back of the plate, there is a vertex. But in engineering, the vertex will induce vibration of the plates. So vibration, again, is a good news for piezoelectric patch. They can transfer vibration to electricity. So the key results here is electrical power about two watt can be realized, realized from the harvester with a size of one meter small size. Only one meter small size. We can collect two watts by this design. Third one is a suspension system. For an automobile, only 30%, more, less than 30% of fuel energy is used to drive the car. One important Losses is a dissipation of vibration energy by shock, by shock absor absorbers in the vehicle suspension system. So lots of energy is dissipated here. So we design some, we design device in the suspension system, and key results show that power about 700 watt can be achieved by a compact and efficient design of a suspension system of a vehicle. So this is another example. So in conclusion. In conclusion, piezoelectric uh, converter have the highest power density, voltage, voltage capacity, and the simplest configuration and lowest costs. And energy harvesting from this guy to ocean waves can be achieved. And the technology can be extended to other applications from energy harvesting. So this is my, my report. Thank you for your kind attention. Thanks. <laughs> Again, I'm grateful to European Academy of Sciences. Thank you. Thanks. Very interesting. Excellent. Now I think there is a time for one or two questions. Hi, sir. Yeah, it's a very interesting uh, talk. Uh, my concern is uh, what percent of input wave energy could be transformed to electricity. Yeah. So it's uh, something like uh, something like 20 percent or 20 uh, percent. Okay, good question. Uh, first, we uh, we an analyze that the efficiency of this piezoelectric effect is higher among the three. So power density is uh, 37 mu watt per cubic millimeter. The second, from our studies on high rise building, the percentage is 28 percent. 28 percent from high rise building study. Wave energy, something like uh, that? Uh, no, no, wave energy. Wave, wave energy, I did not, I did not uh -huh. have the statistics, but the uh, uh, right. efficiency is highest among the three. And you also use smart piezoelectric polymers, right? Do you use uh, piezoelectric polymers like dielectric elastomers, flexible rubbers, right? Yeah, you that's right, piezoelectric. Piezoelectric Sorry, polymers, good. Polymers. Thank you. That's great. That's good. Uh, have you compared your piezoelectric generator with uh, our Twistron uh, electrochemical uh, devices that can be operated in salt water that can generate about 250 watt uh, per kilogram of uh, electrical energy? That's a good question. Yeah. That's, uh, we did not compare. We only compared it with uh, some other electromagnetic mechanism or something. Uh, we mainly focus on vibration energy. So that's a good point. Uh, so that's why I come here to, to have the advice and the collaboration from the scholars here. So yeah, thank good. you very much. Very Thank interesting you. talk. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.